Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to... <laughs> welcome to this week's must-have. So, in this must-have video, guys, uh, this is going to be a must-have that is for some people, and a must-have for the future for the rest of everyone else. Because we are going to be talking about this beautiful weapon right now. We're going to be talking about the changes to the Nocturno. Uh, we're also going to be talking to the changes on the other Founders weapons, the Drum Roll, the Deconstructor, and the Quick Shot. We're going to take, be taking a look at them. Uh, at each of them, we're going to be analyzing them. We're going to test them out as well. Huge thanks to Titan uh, for giving me one each of these to try out. We're going to talk also about the bugs that are happening with them. We're going to go through it all, including how to get them, when I think they're going to be returning, and more importantly, which one I think is the best one uh, currently in the game. So let's jump into this, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for being here. I really appreciate you all. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for using my creator code, DUJ2, right there. Thank you so much. You guys are fantastic. Thank you very much. Hashtag Epic Partner. All right, let's jump into this, guys. So where are we going to start? Well, let's start about what these are. So first of all, let's take a look right here. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. So this is the, these are the different editions that are available. Now, if you go right now, let's actually, let's do that right now. Uh, if you go right now, um, can I look at this here? Yes, I can. So right now, if you go over to the website on fortnite fortnite.com is it fortnite.com no epicgames.com forward slash fortnite and you go right there you go to the save the world category you can scroll down you can see right now that we have the standard edition and the deluxe edition the standard for 40 dollars deluxe edition for 60. now right now that's all the editions that are available Hopefully, we're going to be seeing a sale coming up soon, uh, and I would think I would think it's going to be happening in the next two or three weeks because the last sale ended January seventeenth, if I'm not mistaken, and we've been getting these sales coming back oh every three months or so. So more than likely, we're going to be having a sale during that time. Also, when our anniversary is supposed to happen, the third anniversary, third birthday. During that time, hopefully, we're going to see other versions available, and these versions can be the super deluxe the well let's take a look here all right here they are these versions can be uh the super deluxe edition the limited edition and the ultimate edition now so far we have not seen the ultimate edition return we have seen the super deluxe and limited Dux, uh, deluxe edition the limited edition the limited edition returning whenever there's a sale and as you guys can see right there you can see the list of everything there now the ones we're really interested about right now is talking about the limited edition and the ultimate edition we're going to break down that a little bit more um now this is the important part about all this Let's go to, let's see, let's go to this one right here. All right, so this is the option you get. And like I said, we haven't seen the Ultimate Edition return in quite a while. So more than likely, we're going to have the Limited Edition come back. And this right here is where you get the Founders Bundles. You've got the Soldier Edition, you've got the well, Constructor, um, Ninja, Outlander, and Soldier Edition. Each one of these give you both two heroes and a weapon. Now, that's for the Limited Edition. You can only pick one. Now, the Nocturno is hidden behind the Ultimate Edition. So let's talk a little bit more about what these weapons are. So um, let's go over to the let's go over to the, the latest status report. Now, if we go over to the latest status report right now, we're going to see how in the Save the World home base status report for uh, March 31st, if we scroll all the way down here, there is right here improved founders perks now these are going to only apply to the weapons these founder weapons and that's why if you do have the limited or ultimate edition this is a definite must have for you and for those of you who don't have them and are considering getting it well it just got a little bit better i don't know if it's still 100 percent worth it because if you bet buy the limited edition, you can only get one of these. If you buy the ultimate, you can get them all. But like I said, we haven't had the ultimate back in a while. But maybe this means that it will be available this time. So 
what has changed. Improved Founder's Perks. Clip has fired up the forge and made some improvements to a handful of Founder's weapons. Drum roll, quick shot, deconstructor, and nocturnal. The drum roll, every tenth around fired, increases weapon damage, stacking up to four times. Reloading removes the effect. It's not bad. Quick shot, hitting an enemy with this weapon grants additional weapon damage and reload speed. Stack this effect for, dam for maximum damage. The reload speed is nice. <coughs> the Deconstructor, each bullet reloaded grants a damage bonus, stacking up to five times. The first bullet to hit an enemy after reloading deals all of the extra damage. Nice. And the Nocturnal, hitting an enemy with this weapon marks your target. Marks will detonate on reload. Oh my goodness, that is actually not so bad. So let's take a look at the actual weapons in game and take a limb. So we're going to start first with the drum roll. The drum roll here, every 10th round fired increases weapon damage by 15% stacking up to four times. So up to four times, that means you have a 60% increase in de base damage. Not bad at all. The Founder's Deconstructor, which is the shotgun, which is personally my favorite right now. Each bullet reloaded grants a 16% damage bonus stacking up to five times. Up to five times, guys. That's seventy percent damage. Uh, the first 70, 80, eighty. That's an eighty percent. I thought it was wow. Okay, it's an eighty percent damage increase. The first bullet to hand him any after reloading deals all of the extra damage. So you want to empty the clip because it's got a five bullet clip, and then once you reload all five, boom, the first shot is going to do a massive amount of damage. I'm going to show you guys just how much damage. And finally, the Founder's Quick Shot, which has hitting an enemy with this weapon grant, so 1.7 weapon damage and 1% reload speed, increase for 2 seconds, stacking up to 25 times. Um, that's, that's, the reload is really nice now. I like it. And all these weapons are very interesting. They're very different. And finally, the Nocturno, hitting an enemy with weapon marks them as a target, stacking with each hit. Upon reload, each marked target explodes in a 0.5 radius, dealing 65% of the weapon damage dealt per mark applied and removes all marks from the target. So if you want to empty this clip of 30, you are going to get 65% of all of those on the damage that you do. That is wonderful. Now, if you guys see here, my Nocturno is still all epic perks. I haven't really worked on it. And if you guys can see here, my Founders uh, Drum Roll, Deconstructor, and Quick Shot are all level 20. I don't know if I want to level them up yet. I want to test them out. And again, huge thanks to Titan who has given me one of each. We're going to test them out. And uh, I want to decide which one I want to really want to use. I got to tell you, though, the all of them are awesome. All of them now are really awesome. And I also want to show you guys here, right above me here, you guys can see that there I have there are epic versions of them. So if you buy these, you are going to get epic versions of them. To be able to unlock the legendary versions, you've got to... I, if I remember correctly, you have to actually do something with the, with the epic version. I forget. I forget how exactly it works. Um, but the epic versions, as you guys can see, do not come with these versions, with these perks. And also the epic versions cannot be increased in rarity. Just to say that. Um, and the one, the other one is going to be the Masamune. The Masamune is the ninja one, which I've always said this. I've always recommended get the ninja. Get the ninja group so you can get the Masamune. Now, that decision is much more difficult because all of these weapons are actually really, really good. Now, if you have the capacity to get the Ultimate Edition, which will give you the Masamune, the Nocturnal, the Drum Roll, the Deconstructor, and the Quick Shot, if they make that available in the future, I do highly recommend that you can get them. So, well, let's go take a look at them in-game really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to go in with, well... The problem here is right now I can't really go in with a character that's going to benefit from all these. You know what I mean? So uh, each one of these could have a particular setup, a particular loadout that is going to be so much better for them. Uh, I'm just going to go in with my gold knock setup right now. So we're kind of an even playing field just so I can show you guys the setup. Now you could go in with, let's say, for example, building all these weapons critical is going to be your best bet. And... Also, building all these weapons and building a hero loadout around them with the... Oh my goodness. Every single one of them, if you make a critical loadout for them, they do fantastic uh, damage. I have tested them out, these out a little bit. I will say right now that I am particularly enjoying the most the shotgun. The shotgun with the loadout for critical... It, it is doing a massive amount of damage. It is absolutely wonderful. But you can make a setup for each one and that just makes it so much harder to think which is the must have now if for example you already have the ultimate and you have all these weapons that's awesome i do recommend that you work on them and everything now the big question is 
is it worth it? Is it must? Is it a must have? Is it a must have that you have to spend a hundred seventy five dollars on this? Because, and let's take a look at this again real quick. Uh, if we go here, that is the options you have, but that's how much it's going to cost you. So it's going to cost you seventy five dollars for the limited. On top of that, the ultimate's a hundred dollars normally. Now, will it come back on sale? Maybe. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. It's going to be very interesting. All right. So let's do this really quick. Let me show you guys here. I have all three weapons here. Here is the drum roll. Here is the uh, deconstructor. And here is the quick shot, I believe. Yes. So we got some enemies over here. Um, let me just show you guys really quickly what these weapons can do. Uh, the important thing here is going to be emptying these clips. I do like the fact that all of these have a laser, even though you can't really see the laser. The laser doesn't really go very far, uh, so that's kind of interesting. And also, it's kind of interesting how the laser points there. But yeah, yeah, just don't pay no mind to the to the laser. All right. So in this case, every single shot is going to look at that. Every single shot is going to increase the both the damage and the reload. So highly recommended here to empty this clip. Oopsie daisy. Oh, I didn't see there was going to be more people there. Let's jump over here. Come on, come on. But I'm using Nox right now. I'm using gold Nox right now. So the fact that this is actually doing this much damage on it is not bad. We're seeing, oh, these are energy, by the way, too. And I will show you the builds, that, the the perks that uh, Titan made. So let's go to the drum roll now. I'm going to go to a drum roll now. The drum roll you guys are going to see is going to be very different. <laughs> Uh, you guys can hear that too. Oh, no. We're getting... Whew, let's run away. The drum roll is actually going to do... Oh, my goodness. That's... You guys can hear each time it has that 10th shot. So it increases. It's got a beautiful clip too. Let's empty the clip. And keep going. So you guys can see there, we're looking at... Uh, what is it? 20, 30, 30,000 each hit. 40,000. Again, remember, guys, if you do decide to go and change out these uh, the loadout and you decide to make a bigger loadout, you're going to see, well, a proper loadout, I guess, for each weapon. You're going to see a huge change in this. Now, finally, let's take a look here. Before we use the deconstructor, uh, I want to show you guys this. So right now we have the drum roll here. The drum rolls coming in at 10,000 damage, 13,000 damage with a crit of 185. This is how it's built. Thank you again to Titan again. He did build them. You know the way. Uh, the larger magazine size is going to give you more of a chance to take advantage of those perks. The uh, the 10th round fired. Uh, magazine size damage, critical rating, crit damage. The quick shot is coming in at critical rating, magazine size, crit damage, and crit damage. Of course, energy. Hitting enemy with this weapon grants a 1.7 damage increase and 1% reload uh, for two seconds, stacking up to 25 times. So you got to empty that clip. But finally, do we have someone coming? I kind of wanted, well, I kind of wanted some. Uh, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Let me do this to clear this guy's out. I love how these guys. I love how these guys fly. Ooh. Ouch! Wait, you're still alive? Let me go to the first shot. How are you still alive, dude? He's running away. He's running away. All right. All right. I'll let you run away. I'll let you run away, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's get up in here for a second. Uh, so before, oh, he's here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So the shotgun. Check out the shotgun. The shotgun, the deconstructor. Reload speed, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, energy. Base damage of 86,000 or 126,000. Five hits. Remember, each one of these hits is going to reload. It's going to, uh, each one of these uh, reloads is going to stack 16% damage up to five. So after all five are done, we are going to do a massive amount of damage. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to empty this clip. Uh, let me just empty this clip. There. Oh. All right. All reloaded. Uh, let's see how much we do. Um, it is a beautiful weapon. If you do it, if you use it with... Ooh. If you hit those headshots and if you use this weapon against... against uh, what's it called? I'll reload it. Boom. 
Ouch. That is beautiful. If you use this weapon against uh, a, a smasher or something, we're going to go try and see if we can't find a quick smasher right now. Two more. I love the fact that you can see how many bullets you have left here. And let me do it here. Okay. I'll reload it. Bajunk. It loads up and you can't even see how much damage is stacking up. But that only showed at 74,000, but we know it's going to be way higher. But anyway, so this weapon has a giant amount of damage a cup, uh, capacity, especially if you go ahead and you use a critical shotgun setup. You are going to see a huge, huge damage bonus here. I don't think we're going to be able to find a smasher here. Um, I don't think we're going to find a smasher, but I highly recommend what I'm going to be doing soon is you guys are going to see me use these weapons. Probably, um, the shotgun, I'm going to be working on the shotgun. I'm going to work on the shotgun because it is a fantastically fun weapon. It is really fun to use, uh, combining this one with my pulsar 9,000. I feel like it's the funnest thing to do. The only the only problem I have with this weapon is it's very small field of, uh, what's it called? Um, the only problem I have with the weapon is the fact that it has a very, sh a very small, well, I guess that's good. It's a very tight pattern. So you're going to have very small opportunity to hit those, you know, hit those shots. But I guess that's good in most cases. Ouch. That's got to hurt, man. Come back here. Uh, can I reload yet? No, not yet. Two more shots. Let's reload. Let's go for the big guy. Oh! I need to learn how to shoot this one a lot better, though. Let's see if we can. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill up, fill up. Bajunk. And... Oh! I'm having a lot of fun with this weapon, these weapons, guys. Um, I will have to say, though... I'm going to leave it there. I just want to show you guys real quick what these weapons could do, what the numbers stack up to. I didn't show you the Nocturno. I know. I know. I didn't show the Nocturno or the Masamune. Well, the Masamune hasn't really changed. The Nocturno, though, I'm going to tell you guys the Nocturno right now. I'm going to do a video separate just talking about Noctur Nocturno because a lot of you guys might know it is bugged right now. It is bugged right now, so it's hard to actually use the weapon the way that it's supposed to be used. Also, all of my weapons have... Uh, no, as I showed you guys, all of my weapons are not leveled up yet. My Nocturno is leveled up and yes, it is bright core. It is a bright core weapon. So I actually want to keep them that way. I, I really do. I think I want to keep them that way. Uh, the damage capacity that I have on this one is not that bad. Yes. I know if you go sunbeam, if you go shadow shard, the damage will be much higher. But we're going to be talking about that in the future. I want to do a video just talking about the Nocturno because again, the Nocturno right now is not available. If you don't have the ultimate and if the ultimate edition does not come back, then you're not going to be able to get it anyway. But which one should you get? So I'm also making this video because um, I do believe it's going to come back. I do believe the limited edition will be coming back in a couple of weeks or in a few weeks. So if you do get it, of course, at that time, I'm going to do another another video of, you know, which one I recommend. But I'm also going to refer to this video so you guys can take a look in more in depth and see which ones uh, what each weapon can do now. Out of all of these, this is the thing. Out of all these weapons, none of these ones really shine by themselves. Uh, none of these weapons have had a base increase in damage that makes them like, let's say, the Pulsar 9000, a weapon that you can use all the time with any heroes. Each one of these weapons is still going to require you to make a particular loadout to get the most out of them. So they are still great. These weapons are still wonderful. Um, they're they're much better now. The, the, the perks are... They're legendary perks. They're not really mythic perks because they're still really good. But as you guys saw there, none of these weapons really shine. None of these weapons is, are like, oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. ever. It, these weapons have gotten so much better. They do massive amount of damage. Uh, apart from the drum roll, the drum roll is the only one that's kind of okay to use in any situation. But you're going to start, you're going to be using the Nocturno instead if you get the Nocturno. And because of that, because of that, I'm still saying that the must have is the Masamune. The Masamune is still the best weapon out of this bunch. If you can only get the limited edition and you can only pick one, 
I'm recommending you get the Masamune. Now, of course, if they make the Ultimate Edition available, then you can get all of them for that. Uh, it's quite a, quite a bit of price too, but we're going to have to see. We're going to have to wait and see. But anyway, that's it for this week's video, guys. That's it for this week's must have. I know it's a little bit of a weird one because not everyone can have it right now, but I know a lot of people out there who do have the legendary version, who do have the ultimate uh, edition, and uh, they just don't use these weapons because these weapons are not as good. And again, I will say they are pretty good, but there are particular setups for each one. Now, what I think I'm going to do this week too, is I'm actually going to level all these up. I might keep them obsidian. I know, I know. <coughs> I know a lot, of, a lot of people are going to be like, what are you doing? I might actually build these obsidian to go for the, um, to focus on both the uh, rate of fire and the durability because I might use these weapons for my defenders. Defender video coming soon too. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to level these weapons up. I might just make them obsidian and you guys are going to see um, my particular builds with each one. Unless there is a massive difference in damage. If there's a huge difference in damage from like obsidian to, to shadow shard, uh, we're talking about, you know, like 50,000 damage or 30,000, something like that. If there's a huge difference in damage, then yes, I might make them shadow shard. But I might just make these weapons for my defenders. And in that case, you guys are going to see, I will also, each, during this week, I want to make a video where I focus on one weapon at a time, showing you guys the best hero loadout that I can come up for me, for them, and also the best perks for them. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic, wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.